What's, What's up? up? Are we starting? Uh, I mean, we're we're going all all day. So why? What do you need? He had the Mark II engines on vest. He did have the Mark II. You gotta have it. Gotta have it. Ooh, I might have just fixed your headphones too. Right. Uh, Ion Cannon, Ty D, uh, Jucoms on Omega Leader for sure. What else are you putting on it? Shield upgrade maybe? I've been seeing it. a lot of score to settle on Omega Leader. I don't think that's that good. It's No, it's not good. You heard it here. <laughs> heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Not good. I mean, cheap, 21 points, naked. Yeah. What are you doing? You need that. You need that comms for the. It's really what makes those typhos sing, in my opinion. I I, I understand the the draw to score to settle on a mega leader, but it's not good. This tape? I got. I barely got it in there, and I I really got to tape it. Well, that didn't help me out. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. Trying our best. So we got adaptability on this, right? On quick draw. Quick draw adaptability. He's got lightweight frame and uh, pattern analyzer, and he said he's at 99. So let's see what the point count is there. That'll be it. That'll be it. Uh, yeah, no system upgrade. Didn't look like it. I would imagine he would have collision detector, but you know. Oh. Well, well, I didn't see it. He didn't pull it out. I'll do I'll go double check it though. You want me to double check it before you import it? No, that's fine. Didn't come up really last know. game, so not worried about it. Ooh, they just called time beginning here. Uh, so we're just finishing up getting the list together. Uh, and Do you know like, his name? Yes, I have it right here. And I got the official spelling of the other name, too. This is David Leslie. David Leslie is playing uh, the Empire here. Do you should capitalize his name? Yeah, I should. His proper names. Showing show a little respect. They're already putting dials down, man. No, we're falling behind. Gotta click update. So we have David versus Daniel. A new inputted David's into player one, right? Did you just switch their names? Nope, you are good. Did you put him on the right side of the table? Yes, you did. Look at, Look that. at that. Look at that. Podcast better or stream better. All of a sudden better. Okay. I will double check those lists, though, in just a second. Yeah. You can double check uh, this. Someone kicked the cord to the camera. Who did? No, it was you. It, you you did it. It's this cord down here, dude. All right. Camera went out for a second. Hold on, everybody. This is this blue one's the camera cord. Just some, just uh, hold on a second. Hold on. All right, we're back on. Okay, do not do not touch that black cable, that black Ethernet cable. Do not touch it. We're still getting a little little twitchy here. We'll see if uh, we're gonna go yell at those people around the camera if it twitches one more time. You better not twitch, little. Don't twitch on my Twitch feed. <laughs> All right, so we got. Uh, let's see here. Let's run down the list here. Did we decide who had to initi the initiative token? 
I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. There's not any lineups on pilot skill here. Nope. And no timed abilities either. Love no. games like that, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot less things going on uh, when I don't when players don't have start of combat, start of activations, end of round uh, triggers. So much more easier. You're really gonna have to watch that chord, dude. I know. It's it's freaking out. Okay. We don't have Dion. Dion, our tech expert, or everything expert. Yeah, yeah. So here, I'll I'll break down uh, David's list real quick. This is like. This is the new the Imperial. new Imperial Aces. Yes, this is it. It's uh, it's instead of high survivability, it's high damage output. You got Vestry taking two shots with the Ion Cannon for that control. Mm, He'll follow it up then with his primary shot. Um, both of them with target lock, as long as anything else is target locked on the target. Then you got Omega Leader, which is a great damage over time ship. You know, you just uh, it's one damage a shot. It's a uh, it's the best in-game ship in the game. Uh, maybe Miranda. Well, best 26-point in-game ship. Definitely best 26-point in-game ship. And then you got Quick Draw, which is can be a lot of damage. Up, up to four shots in one turn. It's got to be pretty. Oh, I see why I put Adaptability on it. He's actually going to go down to eight here uh, and match with everybody else. Yeah. Smart. Yeah, if, you, if, you're are, if you're already out PSing everyone, you go down to eight, so now they're all moving at the same time. Perfect. And you can choose your shots, too. Yeah, yeah and if you're up against Fen Rao, you go up. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But, I mean, in this situation, you can go down, so actually let Vessary shoot first. Absolutely, yep. Because uh, he does not have our control system here. So he's going to be trying to, trying to be taking those locks. Um, manually. Manually, yeah. Which is an interesting decision to spend more points on the ion cannon over, say, uh, tractor beam and fire control system there. Yeah, absolutely. But the control, man, ion. I mean, I fly Miranda, and Miranda gets ionized. Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I can't do anything. Right. Can't drop my bomb. Can't go three bank, three bank slam or whatever. Can't go on a bombing run and just shuts her down. No, um, ion is still one of the best control elements in the game. It's harder to keep active. It's harder to get it to hit than in like stress. You know, there's a lot of automatic stress events where the ion has to hit. But it still does the damage though too, yeah, which is nice on the ion cannons. Absolutely, and it is. It is still like the. Uh -oh. oh, we started recording. There we go. Sorry, Dion. It is still the best <laughs> uh, control element in the game. I personally, I think it's it's harder to make it hit uh, along yeah, with tractor beam you know probably the only thing better than as far as control better than uh pure ion is maybe a connor's net because it does yeah. take away your action right yeah. absolutely but that's about it yeah i don't think there's a mechanic that stresses you and ionizes you no i i'd play i'd pay three points for that bomb uh <laughs> i did a lot of practicing with like assage and payload with an ion turret trying to make that work so you get the stress and mm -hmm. ion control i've seen it yep but it's it's hard. Paylob is not putting out any damage no, with that turret. <laughs> no. And it, it but it's it, not like he's putting out much more with a TLT though. Anyways. No. And it, if your opponent's letting you shoot shoot him with that ion turret, you know, they're messing up. Or <laughs> or dice are really bad. <laughs> Pale well, it, it does work well against low agility ships. Yeah. I mean, you just score two hits, uh, three, which you can probably do naturally, and Wait. you. Daniel has a whole ship that we don't see. Oh, Captain Rex. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's redo that one there. Add in Rex there. Didn't have any upgrades on him. Didn't even see him. Mm -hmm. I didn't, yeah. I didn't see him. I didn't even notice that he's at uh, 86 points. No, you already added on. him. There he is. <laughs> yeah, 86 points. This is a serious initiative here. Yeah. Um, I do like this list a lot. I don't know what to think about adaptability, bringing her up to four. I know. What do you really? I guess to get above the the scouts, the torp scouts, because there is a lot of those. That That's has to true. be what he's thinking. Uh, to match with Rex, I guess. Oh, also true. Yeah, yeah. You also don't lose it if you throw your droid. Right. So, for a one point droid, if you're looking for a one point droid to use integrated with. Uh, you might as well. So, yep, double click that, and then you got to go down to I import make, Yeah, again. I just wanted to make sure I was in the right guy. 
million click. Function import. Does that look right now? Let's go look back to the screen. I don't know how to work this thing. Just move it over. Get that out of there. There it is. There it is. All right, we got Captain Rex on there. 14 points. Amazing ability, by the way. In Amazing, my opinion. yeah. Especially paired with Bigs. It's yeah, I've been flying myself in my casual game, so I'm not uh, flying the Miranda or whatever. Um, I've been flying against it, too, is Rourke and uh, Stress Braylon. Basically this list, but it's Rourke instead of Jess. So okay, you can, bump, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can bump Rex up to shoot first yeah, or awesome. Biggs before he dies. You yeah, can bump yeah, yeah. him up to 12. Um, surprisingly effective. Absolutely, uh, yeah, yeah. At one point, uh, at one point, Miranda had a weapons damage and suppressive fire, and yeah. I needed a shield. Yeah, so yeah. I rolled zero dice. Uh, pretty brutal. <laughs> that is pretty brutal. Yeah, yeah. So it does uh, work. Um, interesting here. He's trying to flank around through, uh, and the Rebels are just letting him flank through the asteroid field. Yeah, the Rebels are definitely trying to bring combat to the open area of the field. Oh, they're, yeah, they're really yeah, hanging they, out in that open field. They don't want those rocks. Nope. Throwing a stress down for some, some reason. Uh, looks uh, he, like did a, he, he did a 4K. Braylon there. Oh, 4K with everybody. Yep. Just going into the corner. Oh, yeah. Braylon's ability. Let's get uh, let's break down Daniel's list here. So we got Braylon Stram uh, with R3A2, uh, who can, when you shoot, uh, you can stress your opponent or your, the defender of the shot and yourself uh, at the same time. Uh, you have Gunner, so you can activate that uh, first on your first attack. And then when you miss and activate your gunner, which lets you shoot again, you can activate uh, R3A2 to essentially double stress. Now that really works with Braylon's ability, um, which is when you do a maneuver, you can roll a dice, 50-50 chance, looking for hits on an attack dice to clear a stress. That essentially gives him um, like one and a half greens, like green, green point fives. All of his whites are half green and his reds are half white. Amazing! You put one of those uh, R2 droids on there that gives you all. Oh, oh right, yeah, yeah. Uh, all ones and twos are green. Yeah, uh, his dial is amazing. Well, it really only gives you the hard two, but his dial is amazing after that. Um, and yeah, just a heavy hitter with that gunner too. Um, you got Jess Papa, uh, who can get rerolls per friendly. Each friendly will give you a, a reroll on attack and defense. Um, you got pattern analyzer, so you can take your perform action step before your check for uh, pilot stress or whatever that step is called, um, which is great for K turns, which you can see down there. I believe Jess Papa has a focus token, uh, taking advantage of that uh, pattern analyzer. She's got uh, the EBT droid R2D8 um, and using that EBT slot for adaptability. And it looks like. Oh, you, well, you just put in negative one, but I assume that he uh, bumped up. Oh. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Too much here. We'll double check that. Well, he's behind Rex, so I assume that he is uh, PS4. Uh, then integrate Astromax so you can throw that EBT droid out. Um, whenever you take a damage card, normally a face up is when you're saving that for. And you actually keep your adaptability then because uh, it does not get rid of it. I got big Stark Lighter. Uh, uh, an enemy, I forget exactly how it's worded, but something like an enemy who, uh, what they try to declare an attack on a ship uh, that is in range one of bigs. If they can shoot bigs, uh, they can, um, or they're, they're forced to shoot bigs then. Works great in a little rebel swarm like this one. I uh, got R4D6, um, which lets you. Uh, if you take three or more uncancelled hits, you can reduce them by taking stress down to just two hits. Uh, makes Biggs very survivable, uh, except for against crits. And then, of course, Integrate Astromech, uh, which is a powerful combination. When you can reduce an attack down to just two hits and then throw the droid uh, to essentially take one damage. Absolutely. Very, very strong there. Uh, and then, of course, Captain Rex. Uh, who can, when he attacks, he puts out the suppressive fire condition card, um, which if you're not shooting at Rex, 
you need to, it reduces your attack value by one. Um, and this list, it works perfect with the bigs, because you're forced to shoot at bigs, you can't shoot at Captain Rex. Um, and with Jess Papa's got rerolls, Braylon's, Braylon's double stressing, so a little bit of everything here, a little uh, Rebel Toolbox, I like yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's what Rebels do best. They got a lot of different tools, they can use them several different ways. Yeah, they're, honestly, they, they used to be a lot of turrets for the Rebel Faction, see if you saw, there's a Rebel Faction, there was a turret in it. Yeah. Uh, and this one does not, it has a rear arc on one of the ships. Um, but now they've really gone away to kind of what I consider like scummy tricks. Yeah. Uh, a lot of debuffs, um, a lot yeah. of stress mecha control mechanics, control things like that. Control and debuffs, absolutely. I think that's what, using those uh, that the other factions don't have is really what's separating them. Their mm -hmm. aces aren't cutting it anymore. I mean, Poe's always been good, Marin is great, but man, just hard hard to fight against uh, the other PS9s that mm -hmm. are out on the board. Uh, what is the big, What what is keeping Poe out nowadays? That's a good question. Um, I would. I mean, everyone said. Um, I think it's his, his lack shot. of attack power. To yeah. be honest with you, hotshot, hotshot copilot was a big a, fear, but there's a lot of things that do counter Poe now. You have Kylo yeah. Ren, you got uh, hotshot, uh, you have uh, just stress mechanics in general. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can do it. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Bombs doesn't really like bombs too much. The they're. I've, I don't, I don't know. Does. I don't know if anybody's even flying bombs here. They got a view of the great view of the top tables, and I don't see a single bomber out there. I I think Nan has got a, a bombing K wing over there on table three. Table three, huh? Maybe. I can't see it. There's a guy it's in an orange shirt in the way. Yeah, he's got a K wing and two a T seventy and a T sixty five. So I'm assuming. Bigs and Jess. Yeah, Bigs Jess. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm assuming. <laughs> Wait, I, I see that list from a mile away. Uh, <laughs> yeah, stress chest. Uh, coming back, this this list does not use stress chest because you got Braylon, who's obviously a better, more expensive, but better stress dealer. Um, simply because you can double stress. Single stress can be uh, dealt with. It's the double stress that really just shuts down people. Because um, unless you're Braylon <laughs> or there's an inspiring recruit on there, out on the board there's not a lot you can do about being double stressed no yeah I'm, I'm kind of surprised with stress control coming back we're not seeing more inspiring recruits i thought about it a lot in my list but i just couldn't find the points for it uh, i've been seeing it a lot on, uh, on new party buses oh yeah i'm sure yeah yeah uh, inspiring recruit over for four long yeah exactly for both zuckus uh re-rolls but also to keep finn from being double stressed as well right right um, I'm just trying to think of who else been using. I have been seeing it in uh, Peritani, like new Peritani lists, where you go, you drop down to a scout, and you put an inspiring and recruit, possibly unhinged, depending on how much you care about initiative. Um, which I think on Finn, you honestly, I think you need 98 on Finn. Yeah. If you're PS9, you need nine, you need it. And the rebels are just waiting here. Yeah, they they do not want to engage in battle in those rocks at all but not a bad setup here the uh he's got the whole quadrant the whole uh lower right corner of the board um or yeah. fourth of the board i would say uh, just covered in arcs over there and uh these ships was this quick draw up in front lean the charge there using adaptability to move first uh, and he does not want that shot so he is just gonna hang out uh, I'm not sure if he was considering the barrel roll out or what yeah, there. I'm not sure. Or a barrel roll towards that asteroid, you know what I mean? Not out towards the board edge, but barrel rolling in to maybe arc dodge and get a shot. Um, but you're leaving your friends behind a little bit if you do that. So, and this yeah. is weird. It's weird to me that I don't know what they call the, the best uh, quick draw uh, Omega Leader combination, but very jousty. Just it really wants to come up and just lay into you absolutely yeah i mean um it's weird to have a ps9 that wants to get shot yeah loves and, it yeah and quick draw he's leading the charge here please shoot right. at me i know i 
I would be pretty nervous if I was David here. Like, uh, with Vestry so far behind, you're, oh, oh no, Vestry's at eight, so he has yet to move. Right, so he could three yeah, bank yeah. in and still be They're in there. They're all eight. Right, right, right. Oh man, he's just staying on the board. I mean, might as well. Well, yeah, he could go if forward. If you commit to it, you have to do it though. So but not, be but not if it barrel rolls you off the board. You can't oh, barrel course, roll yeah. or boost off well, the board. Well, like you said, he was trying to backwards barrel roll there. You'd just be forced to kind of yeah. forwards barrel roll. Right. Um, but I think he's doing that to set up Vessery's barrel roll here too, knowing that there won't be combat this round. Right. Well, it, it gives the Mega Leader the option of going um, towards the board edge of that rock or towards the middle of the board also. Or just two board. Yeah. Because uh, the SFs have a one forward, don't they? Yes. Yep. Yeah, slow roll. Yeah, it's, it's pretty similar to a B-Wing dial, except it has all the hard turns, but the ones and threes are red. So, like an attack shuttle or a ghost or an Epsilon or all the other things that have yeah, yeah. one and three hard turns red. But they have, they have like a greens like a 270 though. One banks and then uh, straights up to three. Yep. Very interesting. Very rebel ship in my opinion it's, for the no, Imperial faction. It's a rebel ship with solar panels for sure. <laughs> yeah, kind of a cross between a 270 and an arc. Yep. But now with lightweight frame, you getting three agility. You don't need all Well, Oh, you, auto thrusters would be nice. Yeah. But you don't really don't need it. It, it. it functions the same as auto thrusters on a T70. Absolutely. What we got going on in the chat here? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, we got Sozin checking in. He's he's thinking the same thing I am. He's going too fast. He's gonna go through those rocks. It's he's gonna be pinched at those rocks right as uh, Daniel turns in. Do you do you go in slow here, hoping to not have to shoot at Biggs, or do you go in fast? getting range two shots on bigs uh, it's i don't know i've taken a lot of time like trying to avoid shooting bigs but what i find happens you're is you're splitting you, fire then you, is you you never kill what you're trying to before <laughs> you end up having to go back to shoot bigs see uh if i'm david i'm pretty worried right now is that clear yep there's. yep they're in they're in perfect formation down there and he's focus them yeah, this is... He wants that shot. He's going to have a hard time with that asteroid next round, but, you know, he probably won't take damage this round. No. So, it's really that suppressive fire is the big no. big part of that. Right, and he's got... I mean, he's got da David right where he wants him right now. He's pretty much got to go through those asteroids the way he's set up. I doubt he turned out... Yeah, one straight. It's, one straight, yep. He's going to take a lot of fire right now. Uh, yeah, Quick Draw is probably going to proc his ability. Those three shots. I don't know if Vessery will get those big shots then. Yeah, I'm not sure Vessery will. He'll he'll be able to shoot at Braylon, but... Oh, man. If he can shoot at uh, Rex and uh, ionize them, clutch. Clutch right there. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he uh, might he, be. He yeah, might he won't have range on Biggs there. I would no. take I would take that TIE Fighter shot for sure. I mean, he does have the most agility. This is the problem with this list, is that Braylon has a bunch of health. Jess has rerolls. And the TIE Fighter's got three agility. Nice call so, on that two nope. straight, though. Uh, yeah, you, you don't want to commit either way, so might as well. And I think that's why he barrel rolled backwards to, to set yeah. up that two four. Protect the rock. Yeah, with multiple shots coming on Omega Leader, you want to play as defensively as possible here. Yes, Quick Draw has the title. I forgot to do that. I can, I can update that. I got to update. You know what the update. title is? It's fine. Yeah, I got to. And Jess is adapted up. I have the wrong adaptability on there. We're learning. We're learning. This is only game two. Have you ever done commentary before? No, Jess? I never have done any commentary before. Yeah. Uh, I felt like I was doing a lot better when I knew the list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we got some quick draw shots. Yeah, we got uh, spent the focus on bigs. Oh, you must have fire control system then. Yeah. I'm going to double check that list then. Yeah. Because we do not, there's a uh, points differential there then. Yeah, yeah. 
It must be it must be fire control system over pattern analyzer. What else, what did we have on it? We have pattern analyzer, but that oh, puts him at ninety nine. I bet he doesn't have pattern. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because why are you not bringing fire control? System? Yeah, especially with Vessery. Yeah, we thought that was weird when we put the list in, and now that doesn't seem to be the way the game's playing out. So we did. We got. Yep. So Rex has been hit with the ion. Called it. Uh, yeah, we do have that wrong. We'll update that after this round. That it is uh, fire control system and not pan analyzer. Absolutely. I just love pan analyzer on those freaking ships. I, I love got so pattern. much red. I love pattern analyzer. <laughs> it's bringing T70s back, in, in, my, in my opinion, and making SFs very strong. Very Between strong. pattern and. Uh, Lightweight frame. SFs are very really good now. So we did end up ionizing Rex. Perfect call there. Has he got enough damage to kill him? No, it didn't no. look like it. A lot of green dice there, though. Yeah, so Rex had the range three and the rock protecting him with the Omega Leader shot. Did you shoot an Omega Leader? I think Omega Leader spent his target lock also on Rex to try to get a rerolls. Mm, you're going to be target locking bigs next round anyway, so. Yeah, it's not a terrible decision. Uh, My real question is, who's Braylon gonna shoot at? You got you got Pickens here. I would probably say Vestry, but he does have the does have the engine on there, so he's got a lot more greens than normal. Right. Do you maybe split the stress? Maybe give one to two people. I don't know. Um, so, if you stress Vestry and uh, Quick Draw, it doesn't really do much for you. So he's going to spin the focus. Does he take the damage then? Takes the damage for a retaliation shot? I'm not sure. They're not pointing at their ships. They're only talking to each other. <laughs> That's okay. They're uh, at least pulling out uh, the blank results. Well, yeah. David is. He understood directions well. <laughs> uh, so there we go. We got... Ooh, that's on Jess? No, this is... This Retaliation, quick draw onto Biggs. Biggs taking a crit there. Um, we'll see if he integrates it at the end of this round or not. If he did. All right. So now, now the retaliation shot back at Rex. Oh no! No, Rex. that was Rex shooting. Rex right. shooting quick draw. Because they both they switch sides. Now I'm. Did they? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, da Daniel <laughs> went up, K turned, and then uh, David went around. So now they're on the opposite side. All right. And Daniel just firing off shots here. Good ones, too. Trying to take down that quick draw. You need to strip all those shields right away on quick draw. First round. Yeah, no, if you're going to shoot at him, get him down. And I think that was Jess's shot. So uh, this is Braylon here. Braylon did Swiss stress quick tries, and I don't. I think he did hit. I think it so, hit. So no gunner shot there, no double stress. I'll, I'll double check the uh, shield totals here. Yeah, and I'll update the list.
I, know, I can't figure out how to make it do it, though. Let's see why I broke that chair now. All right. So you're not switching the lists or anything? I got, I got, um, I can't make adaptability go up. That's fine. We don't uh -huh. care anymore. But I got uh -huh. the fire control and the title on him. Okay. And then, so... You gotta hit the arrow. Good job. Down to one hole. I'm actually fairly surprised to survive that round. That update? Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. And then he did, uh, it was a blinded pilot crit. Oh, I gotta make sure. It was a blinded pilot crit on Biggs, so he flipped it right away. Didn't care. Didn't care about saving that. You gotta shoot this round. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but that will keep him at three hull and just only down two shields. Try to do that. I don't know why I can't do this. So his droid's gone, though. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Rex just took one damage from the ion cannon there. And then he'll be on that rock. Oh, he's going to be on that rock <laughs> for sure. He's trying to say he's going to bump himself. <laughs> no, no. No, we saw you flying information, sir. You're all, all right on that rock. That update here, it did not click update. There it is. Oh, so on the rock, gonna cost him a shot, uh, but and a damage. Ooh, and a damage. Oh, he got that already ready to update there. Oops, not 21 health. So that's that's actually pretty big then. That's a beautiful ion cannon yeah. shot then. Um, which is what is nice about the suppressive fire condition is that it will last until the end of the round. Uh, right. Yeah. So if he doesn't shoot this round, it'll yep. go away. Mm -hmm. Which means that it will activate for at least quick drop, um, which is brutal. Who gets first shot, so. He's going to need it. He needs to get out of here, possibly bump, but man, these rebels just have this whole asteroid gap, this lane just clogged up. There's nowhere for these Imperials to go. No, that. And if he can fit in there, Braylon's, Braylon and Biggs have beautiful shots on him. Absolutely. I. Oh, Biggs will have the shot. Well, Braylon's got rear arc too. Yeah. So quick draw is probably gonna go. If, if, if he survives this round, I will be very surprised. Right. Uh, he will have a range one shot front and back to start combat. So two three dice. Oh, attack. that's true. He'll be shooting twice as well. Yeah. Beautiful. Don't normally see that title being used. It's hard to it's hard to pull off. It is hard to pull off. But man, when it does, when you can throw six dice before you die. <laughs> I mean that's huge. Yeah. That's no. huge. Yeah, you survived that one extra round. What? Oh. Okay. I was really confused <laughs> there for a second. Just gonna go run into yeah. running into him on the rug. Totally. Da Daniel was trying to pull a funny on him. Oh, this way? <laughs> Oh, that joke uh, gets old after the first time. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah, I think he's got a target lock bigs here. It's the only shot coming in on him. Yeah, now he focused. Man, confident in his... Well, bigs well, could die this round, though, too. Yeah, and bigs won't have any mods, so... Yeah, he does. He's got that focus over there. That is not Captain Rex's. This one, that's his. That's a focus. Okay. The black, the black thing is uh, quick draws target lock. Okay. This is a premier event, so you are required to use all official cards and ships, which who doesn't use the official ships? Um, but you are allowed third party tokens as long as okay. your opponent approves them. And templates, I believe. The, the templates had to be agreed upon as well. Right, they do not yeah. have to be official, but yeah. If there's any uh, debate, you choose one set between you and your opponent, and you both use the same set. Yep. Well, you got to bust out your old cork. Get those, uh, get those punches out. I was playing with 
I was still using punches until I got my system open ones. Yeah. Uh, so they're reliable. I mean, I have three sets of them. So. Yeah, I was using the cardboard until I got the orange ones this year at uh, the Idaho Regionals. Mm. And then, um, but quickly switched out to the the system open. <laughs> they're so much better. <laughs> I know uh, I've wanted those since I started playing, and then I got two sets in, like, a couple months. Yeah, I mean, before I got those, I was real excited about, I uh, was at the Milwaukee Regionals, and they were handing out as a door prize range one and two range rulers. Oh, nice. So That's I very was good. like, yeah. Uh, and then, obviously, I got I got the other set here. So a lot of, a lot of maneuvering here. Finally got some attacks going. It looks like that was uh, target lock spent on uh, Biggs, taking one damage, two damage, and he's gone. Big See you later, Biggs. Beautiful. That's one last shot on uh, yeah. Quick Draw now. Didn't take the return shot? And now, no, now this is Vestry's primary. Oh, that was an Ion Cannon? An Ion Cannon did the final Whoa. damage. How do you do two damage with it then? Oh, maybe that was Quick Draw's attack? Did he roll four dice? Did he not take the back shot? So, yeah, if he, I think he did take the back shot first. Or, no. Yeah, it's not how you're allowed to do that, but. No. I'm not quite sure what they're measuring in there. This is a two dice attack, probably on Jess Papa here. We're talking about our oh. templates and missing what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were maneuvering for a bit, so. And that is. That's all she wrote on Quick Draw. Didn't look like there was too many shots there then, so that was a rear arc from uh, Braylon there. Yeah. It was the only shot left. Take down, quick draw. And that's the it of combat. Do you want to update Biggs's? Uh, Biggs and uh, quick draw's health there. I don't think anybody else did any damage. I'll double check. Also, we'll ask, oh, I won't ask him about the, the double shot. I don't want to play mind games with him. Go ahead. Okay. So Bix is out, which is expected. Ooh, but trading, trading most of Rex for. Oh, you know what? We're we they're playing right. We're not thinking about it. Uh, suppressive fire. He oh. did take the the full powered up shot okay, to take yeah, down yeah, Bix. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Do you even think about it? It happened though, um, which saved that suppressive fire. Then saved a shot on Braylon. Yes. Oh yeah, because with suppressive fire, he would have just been plinking two dice, two dice on both of those targets, which is not enough to do damage. I don't know. No. All right. Did he take that damage from the asteroid? Doesn't look like it. We see a blank dice out there on the board. Uh, Jess Papa, is she going to clear that? Oh, beautifully. Is she going to clear the asteroid? Well, it's going to be close. So you're still that was a little weird with this template movement. That was there, really but. weird with the template <laughs> movement. Like, let's hold that rock. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is world's uh, finest right here. So let's see what we got here. Obviously, a K turn happening from Ressery. What else are you doing? Yeah, it did sure look like Jess's template hit that rock to me when he like slid it over. It was odd. Maybe it didn't though. We have a weird view with the camera. The camera's kind of a top down at an angle, so some things are a little goofy here. Uh, and then use pad and analyzer uh, to get the focus. Yep. It's still getting a reroll from Braylon. Uh, so just pop up. Just modifiers for days on her. Um, not the best pilot skill. No EBT naturally, so. Uh, most people have passed over her. Didn't think much of her when she first yeah. came out. But man, when you got fully modified, well, fully modified, rerolls and focuses on attack and or defense. Does, does Jess have a, she's got to have a stress token there behind the it's ship. It's probably going to be behind the ship. And quick draw just. What's the one that gets rid of stress with a ship in their arc? 
Oh, that's a uh, Ninnum or Nine Nub. Nine Nub. I learned nine-nub. that at Celebration. That is Nine Nub and yeah. Ten Nub, which makes a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just my Midwestern accent saying <laughs> Nin. Nin. Yeah. No, I, I've always called it Nin Nub. But yeah, right? I did hear that recently. That it is Nine Nub. Nine and Ten. It makes more sense. Yeah, I heard that from the actor himself, so I <laughs> hope it's right. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you get when you go to Star Wars Celebration, I guess. Yeah, it was real cool. I got to sit on a, a Rebel Pilots panel. I had uh, Dutch, Wedge, Biggs, Admiral Akbar, and yes. Nine Nub on it, and they're all talking about it. Uh, the, uh, Nine Nub and Admiral Akbar um, had a lot to say about the puppeteering nice. uh, of the different creations. They actually helped each other um, with their puppeteering. Uh, to make those creations happen. Um, didn't voice their own characters, though. A lot of people were asking them to do quotes and stuff, but oh, they, yeah. they actually didn't go. So we got a tractor beam here through the rock. And he got it, point at him. Let's see, primary shot here. Best visibility for the reroll. Plenty of them, um, yes. plenty of them. Um, Yep, and Megalia are just spotting out targets there. Um, not really doing much this game. Needs needs to get in there. Needs to put out some damage. These are Rebel ships. They have a lot of health. Um, they have even started working on Braylon and Just Papa, who are at full health currently. Right. Um, and I don't know if Vesteray can do that by himself. Yeah. You need to get a Mega Leader to the end game. That's the most important. That's true. You got you're picking your shots. Yeah, this, a, uh, a mega leader versus four shots is not. No, that's, that's not true. what you want. That's true. Or double stress. He's gonna get one shot here from Braylon, range three, possibly two, because you know that gun is gonna trigger. Yeah, yeah. Do you let the gun trigger? Maybe not. You don't. You don't spend too many tokens to avoid it. He's only got the evade here, nice. so he's not used. I love this, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Not using the rubble re- retrofit uh, title to only roll the, your regular yep. two dice primary. To get the gun. To, to get, get the, the gun, gun to work, and then boom. Two. I think he just blanked out. I think he was pointing at his blanks there. <laughs> he just seemed real excited about it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rolling a bunch of focuses there. Yeah, but had, not... had Braylon rolled to clear that stress, he would have had a focus on that K turn, right, which could right. have been huge. Yep. But that Omega Lee is double stress. Did, did pick up his target lock, has the comms evade. Who so is he target locked on? Is it it's Rex? It's Rex? Okay. Uh, Vestry wanted to take him off the board. I mean, we still got 35 minutes in this game, but these opponents know that that opening engagement did take a while, um, so they got limited time to score points here. And I don't know the exact totals, but I think trading quick draw for well, Biggs and Rex are exactly 40 points. Yeah, quick draw is 33. 33. So. If, if he could just take that off, keep his ships alive, um, that is all she needs. Yeah. And I, it, uh, best three spin is focused token on defense there. I do not think he took a damage, though, because they will update it uh, next round here. Um, I don't think he did. would have had four dice focus. Yeah, I don't think any damage went through on that turn. Nope. Not a bit. <laughs> I'm... But so it looks like I'm we're coming back for the joust here. Omegler can easily just hard to. Uh, I think it'd be a hard choice for Vestry. I might go five forward and try to bump Jess. But I don't know. Yeah, yeah I would do that. I would go five forward and try to bump Jess. I think he's going for the block anyways. I think Vestry went too straight just to try to get that. Um, He's going to take shots, shots from both of them then, which is unfortunate. Right. But we'll find out. Yeah, he's checking to see if that's an arc right now. Rex just evading here. Yeah, one health. Move. Uh, you better be right. evading. You, you're not trying to do damage. You're just trying to shoot. Yeah. Miguel, you're moving first here. So I wonder what Vessery did end up doing then. Yeah, so it doesn't now, matter if he bumped or not. You'd actually prefer him to yeah, bump there. Yeah. But it's going to clear his stress. So Let's now Vestry is going to bump uh, a Let's see leader. what template. He is just doing the two forward, yeah. 
So he's trying not to bump. He actually wants just to shoot on him here, which well, is interesting. He, he shoots first, so, I mean, he's just trying to get shots, I guess. Because once Jess is gone, between Braylon and Rex, there's not a lot of damage output left. Yeah, it's always hard shooting at Jess Papa, though, when she's got somebody around her. Right. Knowing she has that defensive reroll. She's only got one in this situation, but yeah, yeah. it's still hard to deal with. Anytime you can def uh, modify your defensive rolls naturally, a uh, huge bonus. We got just two hits there. Two. Two. No, no, no. He's telling them to reroll. This is just a tractor beam here. No, this is Omega. Oh, wait. Why did he only roll two dice? Why is he rolling two dice? It's got to be at Braylon? Well, they allowed it. Yeah, Whatever happened there. Omega Leader should have been rolling three, I think. Now why is he rolling two dice? I'm sure there's a method to their madness. Okay, so this is a Jess Papa. That's yeah. what he re-rolled. I think they both took shots at Jess Papa there. Right. This is why we were confused. I don't know why you're shooting Jess Papa. Omega Leader should have been rolling three dice. He only rolled two that I saw. Now this is Vesery's primary shot, where he does roll the... Nope, that's, that's oh, Daniel no, rolling these. Yeah, that's, that's Jess. Their hands are right. The ships are not. <laughs> Vesery is dead. Dead Vesery after that. Oof. That is huge, huge in this yeah. game right now. That Imperial... The, the combat was in the wrong spot for the Imperial player, for sure. I should get yeah, the, see, this I chat back up, see. I would have... Yeah, you got to try to bump Vesery there so you can't take that shot. I'm not sure what he was thinking, but um, turned out turned out to work for him. Oh, UPO? Oh, oh, okay. I took a picture of it and everything. Oh no, it was from your list. Yeah, I. And you gave us a list. It's over the black. It's. It's hard to read. Luno, Lupo, Lupo, uh, Lupo, Daniel Lupo. We're on a first so, name basis here. We're all friends here at yeah. uh, the Star Wars Worlds Championships. So we've um, been, we're on a first name basis. <laughs> we got them on the right side, but we didn't get anything else right this time. Well, we're working on. Yeah, I don't know how you fix that adaptability in that squad builder. I don't like the squad builder that we're using personally, yeah. but. I don't know. It's it works on every platform is why I think a lot of people uh, use it. It universal. works on any phone. It works on any computer. Mm, that makes sense. Uh, when you when you're on Mac and iPhones, there's just not a lot of good squad builders out there for you. That's true. Yeah, I have a I have an app uh, which I love. Um, forgot the name of it, but whatever. He's just actually a squad builder. So that's it for them. I'm going to have to make sure that we don't forget to give these dudes cards. Right. Maybe we can get another interview. I really liked uh, Tim coming over, saying a, uh, a couple quick words. That was real nice to him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, this, there's a lot of time left, so. Yeah, they got they got 30 minutes here. Um, We're just on you know, you know Daniel's going to be not slow playing, but taking his time now, making sure that because, let's see, is there a ship that's worth just 26 points? No. So the only way the only way David could win this right now is to take down every single ship on the board. And if Rex can get shots on him, Omega Lear is plinking out one dice attacks. Uh, and that is just not going to do it. There's no, no way, no way at that point. I mean, Braylon himself has got nine. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> uh, and you only have a 50 50 chance of shooting, of getting that hit, anyways. And then you're not spending your tokens on offense for sure. Oh, jeez, no. No way. So, yeah, it's going to be a struggle here. Oh, and uh, got the block. Why did he shoot three dice? Oh, it must so have been range, it's range one. one from Rex. Spend the focus. Why did he roll four? Through the rock. It was obstructed. Oh, oh range one obstructed. So no damage. So this is from Jess now. He is not getting that reroll. Doesn't look like it. I think just just Rex. Just Rex. 
So leaving two hits out on the board. Uh, that looks uh, like two. the maids over there. Right. Oh, nope. nope. He's going to have to spend one there. He spent his only evade. Oh, and takes a crit. Oh, really? Those are all focus results up in there. Yeah. Oh, man. That crit. Crit and suppress now. Ugh, this is not looking good for Omega Leader. No, um, it's not. It's hard to guess on these top. I mean, we are viewing the, the top table, and obviously uh, the uh, D and Tim uh, from the previous game, you know, everybody started even. They just happened to be on the top table, which is nice. Um, but both of these matchups, this matchup and the other one, I would have probably started them about 60 40, 50 50 chances of winning this. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's really, X Wing has really gotten into that uh, position of it is not your list anymore. It is how you play it, it is getting those dice rolls, um, modifying those dice well. Absolutely. Um, and just sometimes getting lucky. It's a positional game. It, it's like the list building can do a lot. There is still a, a paper, rock, scissor element to it. Sure. Where mm -hmm. the right the right list will win you some games. But uh, Rex is back on the rock. Oh, he hit the rock and he's out of here. That helps out Omega Leader. But still gonna no, the suppressor fire should go away when Rex is dead, correct? I think it takes it'll stay in effect until Rex doesn't shoot. Really? I would imagine so. I know that's how uh, the Kylo Ren crit, the, I'll show you the dark side works. It lasts the round? It, it, well, it lasts, it lasts forever? It lasts until the card, until the crit goes through. Really? Yeah. Interesting. They removed it, so. I, th I think it goes away if Rex is dead. I think, I forget the exact uh, conditions on it. You know, I just realized we could be looking up these cards with this squad builder right behind us. But we're going to go for memory here. Yeah. Um, for at the time being, um, I we're going with what the players. I'm sure the players know their cards. Yeah. So whatever they are so. doing. <laughs> Sometimes, I I always read my opponent's cards. Uh, there's just so many cards in X Wing these days that it's it's hard to keep all of them straight. Yeah. Anytime something, uh, this, on the chat they're saying condition is removed. Yep. So there. Thank you. There chat. it is. Nice game. Nice game. That is game. All that right. is game. We're going to try to get uh, Daniel over here and I'll, chat about I'll go, it. And I'll make go sure grab him. Make sure you take some cards.